So let's go through the close guard. The most important thing that you have to realize that here in the close guard, I've seen a lot of tapes, a lot, a lot of people trying to pass a close guard standing up. In my point of view, it's too risky. I wouldn't get up just if I was desperate or for some reason. So if, if, if I have a reason to get up, it would be a very strong reason. Otherwise, I wouldn't get up at all. Because if you get up with a guy like him, for instance, or even like a guy like me, who, who likes, uh, when, when we are doing guard, we like very much when the guy is standing up, you're going to be swept for sure. So if I were you, I would never get up when you try to pass a close guard. Okay? Jiu-Jitsu has changed a lot. A lot of techniques that, that they've been developed. And, uh, and since I was a blue belt 10 years, 13 years ago, I don't pass the guard standing up. I'm gonna pass, I pass the guard the way I'm gonna show you right now. I'm talking about the gear, right? Fighting with the gear. So never get up. Don't, don't waste your time trying to get up because if I get up, I'm gonna be swept. I've, I've done it, a lot of sweeps in the Master Series number one. And so uh, don't waste your time in doing it. What I would do, the funny thing about passing the guard like the way I'm going to do right now is that I've been doing it since I was a blue belt. And a lot of people record that, that, pass, that, that, uh, that guarding pass. A lot of people try to, to avoid this guarding pass. And they, it's very difficult to, to try to avoid it. Uh, actually, uh, if I don't pass the guard, I make the guy very tired and I'm, I'm going to end up winning the fight. So, and, uh, and I, uh, I'd like to add also, also that passing guard is my strong point. So, because I was a very good standing up fighter, so the guys, they were used to bring me to his guards. So I was used to passing guard like this until today. Okay, as soon as, I, as soon as I get this situation here, the first thing I have to do is to avoid his grip, like the standing up fighter. So, he's gonna, come on. So, I had my head and grab here, okay? As much as far as, as much far I can get from his neck, from his head, is better for me. Okay, so I stretch my arm and hide my head a little bit. Here is gonna be very hard for him to get my neck, get my arm. So as soon as I get here, to see the knot of his belt, I do this because I wanna get one belt, just one belt, okay? Here. The knot is here. I'm gonna get one belt and then I'm gonna stretch my arm. Then I come with the other arm and stretch also. From here, it's, it's almost impossible to get my both arms or my neck. Like, I'm gonna allow him to get my neck. He won't do it. I'm gonna allow him. You see, I allow him to get. Come on. He won't do anything. I can't even talk. Come on, pressure. He won't do anything. As soon as he does something like getting my neck or try to get my arm, what I want? I want him to close his gun up to my neck. So he's gonna try to get my arm. You see, his legs, he opened up his, his, his gun already. Close, close. So he, he closed. And then I'm gonna grab the other gear. Now, the other belt, I'm stronger. So I'm getting back. You see, my bum is far away from his bum. Now, if he tries to get my arm, he opens up the guard, I put my knee. 